Michigan ex-Marine Paul Whelan has been in Russian custody now for six full months, and there's renewed talk he might wind up in some sort of prisoner exchange. Tonight we're hearing from Paul's family about this new possibility. Rod Maloney has been talking with the Whelans since the beginning and has that update for us tonight. Paul Whelan knows there's only one place where he can speak and be heard, inside a cell in a Russian courtroom with international TV cameras inside. He most recently complained. My personal safety has been threatened. Uh, there are abuses and harassment that I'm constantly subjected to. Um, there's a case for isolation. I have not had a shower in two weeks. I can't use a barber. I have to cut my own hair. Um, I can't have medical treatment. I can't have dental treatment. Paul's brother David's been talking to Local 4 all along, and his concern has been that the State Department is interested in Paul, but only to a point. My sister met with Admiral uh, Ambassador John Bolton, and uh, so we know it had gotten to that level that they're aware of Paul's issue. Um, and so we're assuming that it's being spoken about at Secretary Pompeo's level, perhaps at President Trump's level, and to not have a public statement of support uh, that Paul is wrongfully detained in Russia is hard to is hard to bear. Perhaps harder to bear is the faint hope offered when a Russian foreign ministry official raised a prisoner swap this week. Deputy Foreign Minister Ryabkov's statement is a clear statement that Paul is a political pawn uh, and that they are hoping to extract some sort of value from the United States by uh, trading him for something. I think the uh, concern is that a trade for a felon uh, who is held in an American prison for an innocent American tourist in Russia uh, isn't a fair trade and puts other Americans at risk yeah. uh, for future uh, swaps. Yeah. Now, here's something you probably didn't know. During the Obama administration, in the waning days, they seized two Soviet properties, a New York and an eastern uh, Maryland Shores uh, diplomatic compound as part of sanction against Russia for its interference in the 2016 election. And David believes that that sanction might play into all of this. He's not quite certain how, but he thinks that that might be part of what could end up a prisoner swap. Back to you. Yeah, and Rod, is day, I, obviously he's hopeful that this will happen, but is he thinking he will be able to see his brother at all soon? Well, you know, Jason, one of the things that has been consistent with David all along is that he is highly unoptimistic about it. He thinks that his brother's going to end up convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison. After that is when there might be a prisoner swap. And in fact, we're hearing now that the, the Russians have been kind of going back on this notion, saying that until he is convicted, they don't want to trade him either. So uh, this is not going to be finished anytime soon. Yeah, it's just fascinating to watch it all play out, though. Rod, thanks.